Good morning, evening, afternoon, guys. I'm the Aidenator. Welcome back to another unboxing video. Now, a few days ago, I got an email from a company that holds this real, a special place in my heart. This is not my heart, it's my neck. Um, Comica. They have sent me many products in the past and uh, done it again. Today, I'll be unboxing the Comica WM100 Plus which is a, a lav microphone, which is wireless. Uh, I think it retails for about £240. So if you are looking for that sort of top end lav mic stuff, this is your answer. So I'm gonna read off their Amazon page here. If you wanna uh, check out the, the Amazon page for it, click in the link below. Wireless FM technology and LCD high resolution lattice screen, 16 level adjustable volume, which is integrated into LCF, auto IR channel match, stereo mono, switchable audio mode, RF signal, strength adjustment, mic line input. There's a lot. If you're interested, description. So the idea is you plug it into your camera, You've got a microphone on you, and they sort of talk to each other. And apparently it's got quite quite a long range. 100 meters in an open area, 60 meters with obstacles. So you can, you, can have a, you can have a jog and you'll be fine. You can get just a single microphone. This package that I have has two microphones, which, you know, I'm thinking about it, don't actually need two. You can get it for just one microphone, and it's about 100 pounds less. So if you're just wanting the one, there you go. Yeah, let's get into it. If you haven't seen any of my other comic unboxing videos, I've unboxed other lav mics from them. There's a playlist up there of all my unboxing videos, so you can check those out. Packaging-wise, you got a handle. That. That's what I'd like to see. It was very official, you know, opening this. You've got the... And then you lift it up. And then you lift it up. Oh, check it out! That. This, this is quality. You pay, this is what you get for your pay in premium. Your own, that sound right there, quality. The Comica logo emblazoned on the front. So everyone knows you're in mwah, territory. It's a good zip. You've got some, uh, some pretty serious cables. Cable number one. Cable number two. Oh, that's not a cable, that. That right there is a microphone. Nope, don't focus on me. Microphone number two, look at that. That has got to be the tiniest little wind muff I think I've ever seen. It's incredible. Another one in there, I'm not gonna unpipe that. These are little belt clips which you put on your belt. 3.5 mil jack to 3.5 mil jack. Oh, this is a big boy, this is the XLR cable. If you happen to have one of those huge TV cameras that has an XLR input. So overall, as you can see, there's uh, quite an array of cables. So that's the front pouch. Now we get into the interesting bit. One thing, I mean, I've unboxed many comic products in my time, and the thing that always impresses me is the packaging. Like this, this whole experience, that's good. And this, this right here, me gusta. Little thank you booklet for purchasing one of their products. Love that. Also got a link to their Instagram, which I just followed and check it out. There's the product in question. They call themselves a local business. Interesting. Warranty information. Hefty manual. If you hit someone with this, you could you could do some damage with that. What you've all been waiting for, silica gel. And here is your tripod mount. Oh, it's a hot shoe, whoa. And then the boys. All the girls, no gender discrimination on this channel. So, from my understanding, this is the big uh, receiver that goes on top of the camera. This is uh, one transmitter, and this is a second person's transmitter. So this goes somewhere on your person, could go on your face, usually goes on the belt. This does the same on someone else, if you're having a conversation. And then this goes on the camera and picks everything up. So it's, it's dual channel, you can do two at once, which is, yeah, that's pretty cool. Batteries not included, uh, they require, I think, two each, so that's six AA batteries you're gonna need for this. Obviously, I'm only gonna use four because I don't have any friends. These two in, all right. Batteries in. Now they've got some, uh, they've got a little bit of heft to them. So you can use this for a smartphone, um, but you will need to separately purchase a special audio converting cable. Obviously, I'm not going to be using this for my phone. This whole thing costs more than my phone. So I think if you are the kind of person to buy this, you're not going to be using it for a phone. All right, turning it on. 
You get greeted by the little Comica logo, pretty nice. You just get a little LCD screen explaining what's, what's going on. Got the old green flashing light, always a good situation. Okay, so, uh, I've spent about 10 minutes trying to set everything up. Batteries are in. I'm pretty sure it's recording. There's not an actual record button. I've put the receiver up on the camera, plugged in the, the cable that goes from it into the camera input port. Uh, that's all on, that's all working. This is an interesting, I'm gonna just zoom out. I have currently two microphones on. This microphone, which is a Fifine KO53, did an unboxing of it, click up there if you haven't seen it. 15 pounds, which is 16 times less money than this one. The Fifine one, it plugs in USB to my computer behind me, which is recording with Audacity. And then this is the Comica one. I've just got uh, normally you would have it in the belt buckle. I've just got the transmitter here. Don't know how well you can see that, but if you see the, the bar in the, in the bottom corner, every time I speak, it goes up and down. And then on the um, receiver up there, that is also this exact screen is shown so you can see the different channels. My assumption is that it just, you press record on the camera and it just detects that you plugged in an external microphone, so it just uses that. So now it's time for a little comparison between these two microphones. I will also compare the audio to the audio of the inbuilt microphone on the Canon Legria HF R76, which is filming the up top view. So this is the audio from the much cheaper Fifine KO53 that you've been listening to for this video so far. This is the audio from the Comica WM100, which is the um, 16 times more expensive one. Bearing in mind that the cheaper one is plugged in directly to the computer and this one, uh, there are no wires linking this to the camera, it is purely transmission. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. And now I'll just shut up for a second so you can listen to the level of uh, just general noise in the background. This is the audio from the Canon Legria HFR76, just the inbuilt microphone. So yeah, generally the advantage of the Comica one is that it is wireless, and there are two of them, so you can... I could just... I could take a hike, I could walk around here. I have wireless freedom with this. There's a lot more versatility with the Comica one, as, as I said earlier, if you've got an XLR... If you've got an XLR uh, camera that requires a, one of these cables, boom. So obviously there should be some discernible difference between the three microphones. That receiver up there also has the option to plug in headphones. Sorry for the cable that's dangling in the way. Nothing I can do about that. Put these on. Oh, 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 that's weird. Oh, I can hear myself, but it's not coming out of my mouth. It's coming through. Oh, wow. Okay. Gotta say that's quite impressive. There's absolutely no latency. Because sometimes you, you listen to, I'm going to try and hold this out of the way for you. Sometimes with things like this, it's like, you can hear yourself, but there's like a slight delay. It's a bit like the speech jabber challenge that was going around a few a few years ago, but that obviously was intentionally a big delay. Sometimes you get that, there's, there's some latency there, but there's absolutely none. I can't even, well, obviously I can tell that I'm not listening to my own voice, but this obviously provides quite a large advantage as to, uh, so if you have someone monitoring sound on your shoot, you can have them listening in with headphones, make sure everything's sounding good, sounding crisp. See, through my headphones, I'm hearing noises outside that I wouldn't be able to hear with my own ears, which is quite strange. Like, this is more sensitive than my own ears. See, I just heard my dong, my dog. See, I just heard my dog downstairs. I would not usually be able to hear her doing that. That's bad. Considering how wind noise is, that's not bad. Uh, there's very little distortion with wind. Oh, now actually speaking normally sounds really strange. Guess I won't be doing that again. There's that added advantage of being able to hear yourself live if you don't want, if you're tired of listening to your own voice. Pop, it probably was just my headphones, but I did pick up a tiny little bit of background noise, but it's probably because I've set the sensitivity too high, which I'm sure can be adjusted. One final test. Let's go, let's go outside. Let's see how it fares in a different environment. All right, so I'm currently in a field. I assume you can hear me rather well. Obviously this time I can't actually switch between um, different, different microphones because the other one is tied to my computer. That's the disadvantage of having a USB microphone is that 
got to have a computer with you if you're going to have if you're going to use the lav mic. Whereas this one, I can I can walk all over the place. I've got a hundred meter range with this thing. You see, now I'm all the way at the other side of the field. I am, this thing has a range of a hundred meters, so you can probably still hear me fine. I can take climb a tree. Yeah, I'm in a tree. You want to you want to hear the tree? That was the tree. And now I'm right here. Would you have guessed it? I don't think so. And it's a fairly blustery day. There's wind in normal microphone situations. There would be a little of wind noise, but I assume there's none on this. I did forget to put on the uh, wind mount, wind muff, but as I tested with my, my breath earlier, it does pretty well. Got the belt buckle on. It's been attached to my belt this whole time. Very convenient, don't even notice it's there. So there you go, back to the back to the Aiden in the studio. So there you go, that's, that's the test on the outside as well. Uh, hopefully you uh, found this interesting and useful. If you are interested in buying this product yourself, if you wanna, if you've got a spare 240 quid to blow on two lav mics, uh, head down to the description below. I've got, a, I've got a link there that you can buy it from. I may well keep it and use it in future videos. If I do, I will. Uh, you'll have to. You'll, you'll, you'll have to see. You'll have to spot it. You can do, would you be able to spot? But there you go. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to slap a like on it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Thank you